Hi, my name is Keith Nitka. I'm the Battleship Operations Manager, and I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. Uh, to continue with our City at Sea program, uh, we've stopped here in the chapel. I don't know if you could actually tell, but we are in the chapel here on board Battleship Wisconsin. Uh, the chapel is on the second deck up forward, um, so if you come visit us or if you're familiar with the area, the, uh, the battleship rises as, uh, as she goes forward there on the main deck and subsequently the decks down below, they also rise, they do the same thing. So the back end of the room, back behind the camera, is actually is a little bit lower than the front end of the room here. Uh, so we are on an incline and that's because of the way the battleship is designed. Uh, but uh, the space that we're in is 2 Tech 62 Tech 2 Tech uh, uh, Quebec, or Q. And if you remember from, uh, from my bullseye uh, program, you got a good sense of where we are. When the ship was first designed, this was not actually the chapel. This area was the uh, mess area or the wardroom for the chief warrant officers on board the battleship. Uh, during the uh, 40s and then up into the 50s and uh, during the Korean conflict, this area was the dining area for the chief one officers on board the ship in the 1980s when the battleships were brought back into service. Battleship uh, Wisconsin, the, there weren't many chief one officers on board, so they didn't need a big area like this. So they, the officers, the chief one officers ate in the wardroom with the other officers on board the ship. And this area was turned into the ship's chapel. Uh, if you had watched the uh, the previous video that I did with uh, excuse me that I did with Captain Coleman, he explained a little bit about how this room became uh, the chapel and uh, one of the uh, one of the prouder prouder things about the uh, battleship Wisconsin in this case is that this is the large this was uh, at the time in the 1980s the largest chapel on board a, a U.S. warship. Uh, but the chapel itself, it's a non-denominational chapel. Uh, you can see it's set up here for the Catholic services, but the, uh, the chaplains on board the ship could handle uh, any of the major religions, didn't matter which one it was, didn't matter if it was a Catholic chaplain, he could, uh, he could assist with, uh, with doing uh, Jewish holy, holy days and services, or any number of different religions in, in that matter. Uh, sometimes it would be a lay person, uh, if there was a, a small group that wanted to gather for a particular uh, religion, like say a Muslim service or, or something of such nature, they could do all that and it would be led by a lay service, a uh, layman. Uh, but the, uh, the chapel itself would hold uh, Sunday service worship in, uh, in, in different, different time on the day would be different uh, denominations that would worship here in the chapel. But more importantly, the chaplains on board the ship, also along with the, uh, the sailors that worked in religious ministries, uh, they were always here on board to help and assist uh, a sailor with any crisis that, uh, that he may be going through here on board the battleship. Uh, issues at home, uh, a, a doubt about something, needing guidance, with something, the the chaplains on board the ship and uh, and the sailors that worked in religious ministries were always top notch and, and available. Made themselves available to help out at any time with any sailor uh, with any problem that uh, that he had. Uh, the sailors and the chaplains that worked in religious ministries they also worked during general quarters. They had positions down in the battle dressing stations so that uh, if if a sailor was wounded or injured in combat, the first place they went to was uh, triage or one of the battle dressing stations. The chaplains in the religious ministries uh, personnel were there to assist with divine needs, uh, doing last rites if, uh, if it was called for, uh, just helping, holding a hand, saying a prayer anything like that, the, uh, the religious ministries people and, uh, and the chaplains were, were available for that as well. Uh, so this is one of the many spaces here on board the ship that, uh, that fall under the city of sea category. That's no different than what you have in your hometown. You have a Roman Catholic church or a Lutheran church, perhaps a Jewish synagogue. We're in it, this is it here on board Battleship Wisconsin. So I invite you to come on board Battleship Wisconsin, uh, take a look at the chapel. Uh, all the areas that are that are associated with it down the passageway here is the chaplain's office 
and uh, and then down further down the uh, the passageway is Chief Warrant Officer Country, where the Chief Warrant Officers live on board the battleship. All these places are available and uh, and open to see on the uh, general admission ticket, and uh, we hope to see you real soon. Thank you, and have a great day.